Hello again and welcome to another Mordian Glory Warhammer 40k video. Today's episode is a report from the painting front with an update on the long war against the pile of shame. And I don't mean to alarm you, but the Mordian Glory painting event has gone into overdrive. We've got multiple grudge matches. We have got people painting insane levels of models and there are some truly staggering vows that have been made. So stay tuned if you want to find out who is currently leading in the competition. And if you've no idea what the hell I'm talking about, then don't worry. I'll take you through the painting event and how you can sign up and slay your grey. So without further ado, let's fix brushes and wet pallets our way right into today's episode. You there! Have you bought yourself a copy of Sharp's Command yet? <laughs> Damn you, Axe! Or use the affiliate link down below in the description to buy yourself a copy of the latest book in the best-selling series by Bernard Cornwell. The fault was not mine, sir. Major Lennox must answer. Major Lennox answer with his life! You disgraced us, sir! You shamed us, sir! Sharp's command is jam-packed full of action from start to finish. So what are you waiting for? Click on the affiliate link below and buy yourself a copy today. Support the channel and your king and country. Yes, sir. First things first, let's talk about what the hell this painting event even is for those of you that aren't quite sure. Right now, in the Morden Glory Discord, I am running a painting competition. It's a team event, and it's very simple. The more models that you paint, the more points you earn for your team. And at the end of the event, whichever team has painted the most stuff will win, and they will not only get some cool prizes like unique roles in the Discord, but they'll also cover themselves in lots of glory. Now, I have done a separate video detailing and announcing this painting event. So if you want to get into the nitty gritty and really find out what the hell is going on, I'll make sure there's a link to that down in the description below. But let me just tell you something right now. There is nothing like these painting competitions for motivating yourself to get your models painted. This is more motivation than even the last minute frantic brush strokes before going to a tournament. We have had people paint entire Titan legions. We've had people complete multiple 2000 point armies and people who have said, this project has been sat on my shelves for literal years and this event gave me the motivation and the excuse to finally get it done. So if that sounds interesting, if that appeals to you, if you're like, hang on, we not touch a paintbrush in a while and let's actually get some stuff done. And if you want to make some genuine friendships along the way, like people who take part in these painting events come back year and year again, and they come back to the same team again and again and again, and there is some genuine camaraderie. If you want to slay that grey, have some fun along the way, I highly encourage you to check out painting event. But with all of that said, now let's get to the update. Who is currently winning? Where do the different teams stand in the leaderboard? Now, starting at the bottom and working our way up, we have currently in last place, the Stormtrooper team, the Scholar Progenium, the Big Toy Soldiers. Right now, the Stormtroopers have got 1,760 points worth of models that they are working on. Now, that is on its own a very respectable amount of points and it's just a testament to how much these painting events have grown that 1700 points worth of models is now putting a team in last place but i would not count the stormtroopers out at all we're barely a month into this event and i have seen the stormtroopers pull off some truly impressive sprint finishes in the past and get a lot of models done they are one of those teams that is going to deep strike in near the end and they are going to pick up some extra points. So I'm keeping an eye on the Stormtroopers. I'm not going to be lulled into a false sense of security. In 11th place, we have the Vestroyan Firstborn team with 3,494 points worth of models vowed. That is a cracking start. And what is really impressive is that we have only got four people on this team, but there have been some really big vows made. I want to do a big shout out to Eli Conan, who has done 1,285 points as his first vow. And there is a lot 
of chaos in that battle. We've got Colton's Firebrands. We've got Obliterators. So it's a lot of heresy, but hey, if it gets the points up, then that's good. In 10th place, we have the Talan Desert Raider team. Now, the Talan approach has been almost the complete opposite of the Vestroyans. They've got quite a lot of people on their team at the moment, but many of their vowels are slightly smaller and more manageable. It's going to be very interesting to see if the Talan's approach ends up paying off in the long run with smaller, more manageable vowels building up over the next three months. In my opinion, that is absolutely the way to do this event, and you can do very well with just consistently banging out smaller vowel after smaller vowel than one or two big vowels that might burn you out. So well played to land with a good strategy. Currently in ninth place, we have my personal favorite gas mask boys, the Armageddon Steel Legion team with 5,765 points vowed. Currently, we have got nine people on the Steel Legion team, and there is a huge variety in the quantity and quality of vowels that are being made. We've got some absolutely massive ones, like from Mild the Knife, who's come in with 1,810 points in the first vowel, consisting of Orc models. We've got Gasgore, we've got, we've got three Battle Wagons, we've got some Space Marines in there, we've got some old one in there, there's even some bot action there. So, Mild's in a really big vowel, a real smorgasbord board of a vowel as well. We've also got another big vowel from Elden Lean who's come in with 1700 points worth of chaos. Uh, chaos uh, looks like um, old world stuff. So that's going to be interesting to see. It's it, kind of cool to see Orcs and Chaos on guard on one team. Truly the Steel Legion team embracing their narrative. Uh, we've also got some smaller vowels, you know, small yet promising. Uh, Armageddon Slayer coming in with a command squad at just 60 points. And uh, Novocaine coming in with a Terminator Captain and a Razorback, 190 points. So there's a real big difference between the biggest vowels and the smallest vowels on the Steel Legion team. And it's going to be interesting to see how the different players approach this event. In 8th place, we have the worst regiment in the entire competition. They smell like poo. It is the Elysian Drop Troops. Now, you might be wondering why I am being so mean on our airborne cousins, but the Elysians are currently in a grudge match, which they declared on my regiment, the Mordian Iron Guard. And the Allegiance have got a very, very respectable number of points vowed as well, about 7,600 of them. Now, there are some pretty chunky vowels in the Elysian roster as well. Despite the fact they've only got five players, we've got Icanthos with a 1,300-point vowel, DG Painting with a 1,400-point vowel, British Trex with a 975-point vowel, but I think... My nemesis on the Elysian team has to be Turtle One Zero. Not only has he made a first vowel of 1,400 points, but he's already completed it, and he's following it up with another vowel of 2,185 points. What an absolute giga chad. I may think that those Elysians need to get some proper uniforms, but I've got to respect the big vowels that they are laying down and smashing out. In seventh place, we have the Renegades and Heretics. Now, what's really interesting is the Renegades and the Gene Stealer cult entered into an unholy alliance, and they did a combined grudge match against the Death Corps of Krieg. Now, the Heretics so far have brought 7,975 points to that grudge match, and the Gene Stealer cult are smashing it. They are coming in sixth place, and they've got one... They're not what not one not one 12,771 points meaning that combined the GSC and the heretics are have got over 20,000 points bowed to try and take on the Kriegers that is a very very good effort and if I was a Kriegy boy, if I was a shovel boy right now, I would start feeling a little bit sweaty. I'd be feeling a little bit nervous because those combined teams are really bringing the pain. Sneaking into the top five, we have the Valhallen Ice Warriors with a incredible 
15,000 points worth of models that have been vowed to the event so far. And what's even more insane is many of these points are also completed. These are not just vows which may end up failing. We've got Narrow, we've got Nick the Salamander, we've got Chicken Detonator, all who have completed at least one vow. Chicken Detonator's first vow was 2,169 points and that is in the bank. But I really think that we need to do a special shout out to Narrow who has already with with only with, 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 with only the first month completed not one not two but four vows he's already done six chimera transports a lord solar a lieutenant and a whole bunch of bolt action basically a bolt action starter army for the soviets and then he's done uh, some iron striders we've got we've got more bolt action tanks and his last vow is 2180 points and is a huge orc vow absolutely insane narrow i've never seen someone paint so many models so quickly and to a, to a pretty good standard as well absolutely smashing it and uh, narrow you are probably going to do all five of your vows in the first month which is amazing you're gonna have to find someone who you can grudge match so you can get another five vows and, and keep going over the next two months as well in fourth place we have got a surprise it's the Cadian team. Now, the Cadian team are normally one of the big three, but they have been taking a slow and steady approach this TTC, and I respect it. They have got loads of people on their team, 21 players involved, and a lot of their vowels are smaller vowels. We've got Nick's Highlander with 150 points. We've got Seb Crawley with a single score of Kazakin at 110 points. And I've been keeping a beady eye on the Cadian chatter in the, in the Discord. And their general approach has been lots of small vowels, which is the smart way to play. We have still had a few lads going with some proper chonky vowels. Uh, Rob M with 2,865 points of Imperial Guard, a truly good effort. Uh, but the majority of the vowels uh, outside of uh, sort of a few edge cases are under 1,000 points. So the Cadians aren't on the podium yet, is my analysis. But I expect they're going to get there. But speaking of the podium, coming in third place at the moment, and with their eyes on that bronze medal, we have the Mordian Iron Guard, my team. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've been using my powers neither wisely nor compassionately. Whenever someone asks about the, the painting event on stream, I'm like, join the Mordian team, join the Mordian team. And my recruitment efforts have been paying off. On the Mordian team, we now have 13 players, which I think is the most the Mordian team has ever had. And we've got a really nice mixture of vowels and games as well. So we've got Samuel Johnson coming in with a Liam's Exterminator, 170 points. Uh, myself, my first vowel was 591 points of Empire infantry about 82 models uh, and then we've got nostalgia of vivek with uh, some necrons market habit land with some tyranids there's all sorts of different armies and uh, game systems we've got some bot action there from still unsure in fact a huge shout out to still unsure whose first vow was 5,000 points worth of bolt action vehicles the absolute mad lad so at the moment the mordians do have a big lead on the Elysian drop troops in that grudge match, but there is a long way to go. And if a few of these big vowels fail, then it could lead to a huge dip in points for the Mordian team. So we are ahead, but we are not out of the woods just yet. In second place, Currently with the silver medal, but knowing these guys, they're going to be eyeing up the gold. We have got the Katachan Jungle Fighters. The Katachan team is truly the Giga Chad team. Never the largest team, but always the one that hits harder than anyone else. There are currently 14 players on the Katachan team, and they have got a staggering 19,000 points worth of models vowed 
and they've got loads of valves completed as well. Uh, we've got Hammer coming in with a Bion Action valve completed, and we've also got Hiru coming in with an Imperial Guard valve completed. But the Kachans have got uh, a Warhound Titan valve currently in the works, and multiple 2,000 point and, uh, and 4,000 point valves that are being painted up. So the Kachans always smash it, and I would not be surprised if they end up, they end up taking the top spot. They certainly have the capability to do so. But it's very interesting that the Mordian team and the Kachan team are so close. There's less than 1,000 points separating us. Could we see the Mordians not only get on the podium, but also for the first time beat the Kachans? It's never been done. If the Morgans weren't already in a grudge match, I think it would have been interesting to see a grudge match versus the Katachans and the Morgans. Maybe we can have parallel grudge matches. I'll have to wait and find out. But there can only be one. And the team that is traditionally the largest and with the most clout is reigning supreme during this painting event. It is the Death Corps of Krieg. With... An insane 31 players. <laughs> wave after wave of gas mask clad shovel wielding players come charging in for the Krieg team. And they have got every kind of vow under the sun. We've got a goddamn Eldar Phantom Titan from Grog the Big, for example. But there's all sorts of Space Marines and uh, we've got some Admech. We've caused lots of Imperial Guard. Uh, interestingly, it seems just at a glance that all of the, uh, nearly all of the Death Court of Krieg bows are actually 40k ones. We do have a few outliers. Uh, we have got a bit of bot action from Otto the Confused and we've got some uh, Legionis Imperialis by Golden and a cheeky little bit of um, Old World from Gunboat Goat but a lot of it is 40k and we're seeing some very points dense vowels from the De Death Corps of Creek so well done to them for absolutely smashing it very successful recruitment drive by the Creek team and they've already got several vowels not only made but completed as well. They have got points in the bank. The big problem the Death Corps of Krieg team has, traditionally, is follow through. There have been a number of events where the Krieg have had by far the most points vowed, but they've had a staggering 30-40% failure rate. And so the amount of points actually completed has been lower. And it has cost them what should have been an easy gold. It has cost them sometimes even being on the podium at all. So with the Krieg team, they talk the talk. But right now, we need to see if they can walk the walk. But that just about does it for the event update. And what an interesting time it is. Stormtroopers boiling under the surface. And the Mordians threatening the Kachan supremacy. And the Kriegers with some big vows, but do they have the follow through? I guess we'll have to find out. My plan is to do another update at the end of the second month of the event, and then we'll do a final update, finding out who ended up winning the whole thing. But let's be clear, it is all to play for at the moment, and there are a lot of teams that are punching well above their weight, and a lot of grudge matches that are progressing very nicely. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Which team are you supporting and who do you think is going to take the gold? If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And also subscribe to never miss an episode. Would you like to know more? If so, then please consider becoming a channel member or patron. By supporting the channel, not only will you be doing your part, but you'll also be helping me create more content 
for your viewing pleasure and unlocking a whole host of perks. You get everything from a badge next to your name, custom emojis, but the big one is access to the Mordian Glory Discord server, an online community with almost two and a half thousand active members. It's always popping off in the MG Discord. We've got channels for army lists, hobbying, tactics, stories, and even a pretty spicy meme section as well. For all you greenhorns that wanted to see the Mordian glory hole, today is a lucky day. And joking aside, I do want to say a massive thank you to all of the current channel members and patreons you guys are amazing truly the lifeblood of the channel i could not do more doing glory full-time without the incredible and generous support of my members so thank you guys so much and last but certainly not least i want to say a personal thank you to all of my top tier patreons these are the war masters the people who have truly gone above and beyond the call of duty. To a heartfelt thank you to Alex Dengal, Bon Bon Vert, Lord Pryor, Mark Panconi, RJ Scorpion, Swordfish Trombone, Try Again Bragg, John Stubbs, Nick Walsh, Diesel Fox, and August Barney. Seriously guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your support is incredible and it makes a huge difference. Thank you so much. That's all for now. Hope you've all enjoyed today's video. And of course, as always, see you guys next time. <laughs>